going to show you how to make Creative Kiwi's large hedgehog applique and for that I'm going to be using my 5x7 hoop, wash away stabiliser, selection of threads, my scissors and tape and my fabrics and batting cut to size. So we're going to start off by hooping uh, two layers of wash away stabiliser and I'm going to pin it just to stop it from loosening in the hoop I'm now going to pop that in my machine and I'm going to stitch round number one of the first file so next we're going to add our fabrics and batting so I'm going to turn my hoop over and I'm going to place my backing fabric on the back and I'm going to tape it in place and now I'm going to lay my batting down over the outline and my front fabric on top and I'm just going to pop a bit of tape down so that it doesn't move during stitching now I'm going to pop that into my machine and stitch round number two to secure all the fabrics and batting so now we're going to trim up all the excess fabric both front and back so I'm going to start at the back I'm now going to pop my hoop back into my machine and stitch around number three and that's going to do all the satin stitch detail. Now that this section is completed we're going to free it from the hoop. You want to make sure that this edge here is uh, trimmed as close to the stitch line as possible because that's going to be our joining edge onto the next piece. I've loaded the second file into my machine and I've still got my brown uh, bobbin and thread. I've hooped my wash away stabiliser and pinned it and I'm now going to pop it into my machine and stitch round number one which is going to give me my placement line. As last time we're going to start off by placing the backing fabric over on the back of the hoop and I'm going to stick that down now I'm going to place my batting over the outline and my fabric on top and this is a fabric for the belly that you want on the front I'm now going to pop that into my machine and stitch round number two and that's going to secure them all we're now going to place one of our dark brown pieces of fabric over the top of this I'm using up scraps so I've got two pieces here and I'm just going to place them down and tape them and put a bit of tape on the edge here as well
I'm now going to pop that back into my machine and stitch round number three and that's going to secure them. We're now going to trim up all the excess fabric both back and front so I'm going to start off with the back I'm now going to pop my hook back into my machine and I'm going to stitch round number four and that's going to do the zigzagging all around the raw edges. Next is round number five and that's going to do the satin stitches on the spines each side. I've loaded a lighter brown thread into my machine and I'm now going to stitch round number six and that's going to do all the lighter brown around his body. I've loaded flesh pink into my machine and I'm now going to stitch round number seven and that's going to do the little heart detail. I'm now going to free this from the hoop. And I'm going to trim up along here as close to the stitching as I can because that's going to be our join line. That's our second piece made. I've loaded file number three into my machine and I've hooped and pinned my wash away stabiliser. I'm now going to pop the, my hoop into my machine and stitch round number one which is going to give me my placement line. So once more, as we have done before, we're going to turn our hoops over and place our backing fabric over the outline and then tape it in place. And now we're going to add our batting and the other front fabric. And we're going to tape it in place. We're now going to pop that in our machines and stitch round number two to secure them. We're going to lay our dark brown fabric over the top and tape it in position. Pop it in our machines and stitch round number three to secure it. Once more we're going to trim away all the excess fabric and batting from both the front and the back. So I'm going to start with the back.
I'm now going to pop that back into my machine and stitch round number four and that's going to do the zigzagging and it's going to stop where we've got to make our first join. We're now going to join the first piece that you made to the right hand side of the head. I'm just going to turn this around so I can see what I'm doing. And you want to overlap so that this line, stitch line here sits directly on top of this, this stitch line here. And you're going to pin it, but make sure you pin right out of the way of the stitch line. And I'm just going to put a little bit of tape each side so that it holds the edges flat. I want to slow your machine down for this. If you haven't got a way of slowing it down, you can use your start and stop button. I'm now going to pop this back in my machine and stitch round number five, and that's going to zigzag along this edge and join the two pieces. I've checked to make sure that it's lined up properly, and it is. So I'm now going to stitch round number six, which is going to do a run down to where we join the next piece. If, you're, if you find that your uh, alignment isn't uh, right, unpick it and redo it. So we're now going to join this piece to here. I'm just going to turn this around so I can see what I'm doing. And the machine stopped there, so we're going to line this up. And once again, making sure that we overlap one line onto the other and pin it in place. I'm now going to pop that back in stitch round number seven. And as for this side, it's going to zigzag to join the two pieces. I've checked my join and everything looks fine. So I'm now going to carry on and stitch round number eight and that's going to do the satin stitch around the spikes um, on both sides. And I've moved my tape back a little bit so that it doesn't get stitched over. I've changed my thread to pink and I'm going to stitch round number nine and that's going to do the pink inside each of the ears. I've loaded light brown into my machine and I'm now going to stitch round number 10 and that's going to do the satin stitch around the face. I've changed my thread to a light blue and I'm now going to stitch round number 11 and that's part of the eyes. I've loaded black into my machine and I'm now going to stitch round number 12 and that's all the facial features that remain. Now that all the stitching is done, I'm going to free this from the hoop.
Oh, I love this little guy. All that remains now is to remove all the uh, um, remaining stabilizer. So I'm just using water and a cotton bud. And that's my little loggy finished. I hope you enjoyed this stitch along. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to be notified of new videos as they're published. Do pop along to Creative Kiwi's Facebook group and say hello. There's lots of ideas and inspiration there for everybody. And thank you very much for joining me.